What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the Manchester United Career Mode in FIFA 22. Leave a thumbs up if you've been enjoying it. And we're getting towards the end of the season now. Uh, we went through it at the yeah towards the end of the last episode. So we just got to uh, keep fighting with Liverpool. And I'm liking the fact, or I like to think, that if we keep getting results, that manager rating is going to increase. Um, yep, Liverpool three points ahead of us now. We got to we got to beat Tottenham. We know they've got some good players. Let's see how they go. So this is how we're looking now. Don't forget, like Ronaldo, oh, Kane is really tired for them. Cavani, who's that option to line up? I think it's going to be Rashford that lines up as the striker now. Cavani drops out, and again, just to show you, yet yeah, Ronaldo's injured. I'm going to try something really different. How does Bruno Fernandez line up? Oh, he actually doesn't shape up too badly he's still plus three i want to try him there and then to start neves even cavani is a bit we'll just leave him there because no real other oh yeah maybe van der beek yeah thought about it and then harry Maguire to start ahead of arayo i so hesitant about it but we're gonna do that it's it's just gonna be very interesting to see how fernandez performs but i think him getting, like, he's been in that position in the pitch, obviously. So, yeah, I don't think, like, it can look so bad using him, what, as, like, a left forward? Nowhere near that. Well, not nowhere, but he's not, like, a winger type. But I feel he's, he's a good technical player. We know how good he is. And, yeah, if he's getting in those positions, I think he can be effective. We're just dealing. It was that or start Alvarez, who we're trying to not use so much. Uh, Harry, look, Harry Maguire... Is going to be coming against Harry Kane, who's tired. I think Maguire and Varane should be deal should be able to deal with a tiring Harry Kane. And Son, yeah, it's good he's not hundred percent. Winks in midfield, yeah. I don't know. Um, that's not even a strong. That's like outside of Son and Kane, average team. The defense looks very poor. So yeah, I think we should do pretty well. And I mentioned all about Harry Maguire, captain. Yep, Bruno Fernandez has got that much better much better to lead the club let's go all right here we go so hey yeah there's something on the line to win the premier league let's go well done yeah we're in for no no don't make that hit dali ali not quite mate obviously he's moved on we started this career mode before he made that <laughs> transfer which happened with a few players of course harry Maguire. here we go overlaps on yeah I love our system we've got. Okay. Cross at the right time. Brilliant. You. Re oh, my God. Galini. Yeah, he's a good goalkeeper. He should have saved that. <laughs> like, oh, I want more crosses like that. The timing just has to be right. And here we go. We intercept. May not matter. May not matter. Rashford. It does not matter. Leads to a goal in the end. And Marcus Rashford in the celebration. Who needs Ronaldo? And this poses the question. And I guess I relate to this a bit in real life as well. I don't think Man United need Ronaldo. He's not the weakness in the team, but he's not the solution either. Do we sell Ronaldo? I think it's trying to hold on to past successes. And yeah, I just don't know. Uh, pose the question. What do you guys think? Do we sell Ronaldo? And who knows, he might be a bit injury prone later in his career. And again, probably not, that's not the fact, but that could be the storyline for the current point in this career mode because he had got that two-month injury that finished him off for this season. So, yeah, <laughs> keep storylines in mind. Do we sell him? And is Marcus Rashford ready to take over? Now Rashford... Oh, brilliant. And see, this is what I meant by Fernandez. Ooh. He's a great attacking player, and he's just getting in good positions there. Oh, Rashford. And we set it up for him, and that was really neat, because you could have said, maybe shoot. Like, it's not... You don't see Bruno Fernandez saying, oh, yeah, train him to be a left forward. But the how we play in the position he gets in, 
around the box to get a shot on, like, there's a defense behind that. And especially, it's not like a left-wing role. He's not running down the wing trying to use pace, which, you know, he hasn't got as a typical winger. But the positions he moves into because of the left-forward role, he gets in goal-scoring positions in the box, in the area. I tell you what, there's something in that. There is something in that. And I know it's only one goal, but that was a good explanation. And good evidence. And Rice. Easy. Pogba did that well. And Rashford through the middle as well. See, logically... Oh, here we go. Sure. CPU reads that... I do that a lot online. You cut and you look like you're going to go left, but then I go right. I gotta have. I have different. I need to get different play styles, or need to be more smarter with it. Like kind of mentally, I knew they would have dealt with it. I'm just overthinking it. So you definitely, yeah, <laughs> you're gonna see that there. I was caught up on that chance we just had. It's good that we have a lead. We can. We conceded one, but now we can kind of just even things up a bit. Or just take control. Oh, you see, I was about to make a move. Couldn't quite. All right. Still in the lead, not to forget. And, oh, brilliant. Just get it back. Get it back. And Bruno gets another. I'll tell you what. See, that's where the intelligence, attacking intelligence. See, he's playing like a captain. He's playing like a captain, man. Bruno Fernandes. Take a look at this replay. You're like, oh, that was just an easy goal. But he he's run. He had to be smart, attacking intelligence to be in the right position. The actual finish of that, anyone will score. Well, most players. Not him. But yeah, Bruno. Those kind of chances, people say those are easy goals. But... Good players get in those positions because their yeah attacking intelligence is high. <laughs> Simple as that. All right, Nevers, this is where we do our analysis. So we see Pogba. Oh, I think Nevers is slightly more tired. A ring on Van der Beek. Let's give Humphrey a go for Rashford through the middle. Yep, rest Rashford and Delot. Ooh, sure. Yeah, when that's the case, we'll take off Basak one Basaka and then we'll play Tellers the next game. Let's sure play this out. Yeah, happy with that. Oh, neatly played to Humphrey. Hum oh, didn't mean the chip was trying to do the low, like, powerful strike. But we get a corner, so it's not the worst result. Luke Shaw. Not quite, son. So here we go. Sancho. Oh, his option. The lot fresh legs. Oh, set it up. It should be a goal for Pogba, it is. Yeah, we just looked. Or maybe it's Tottenham. Maybe it's their tiredness. Whatever it is. They just look a bit slower than us today. I mean, Paul Pogba was able to get in that space. It's. A, I'd say it's a mix. Is it the fact of we just had that game against Manchester City in the knockouts in the Champions League and like we oh my god Scarlet goes back uh, Scarlet <laughs> where's this guy from good finish I was about to say that Man City like playing against them it increases your expectations of the output that's why this game's feel easier. Dane Scarlett, one goal in two matches. That's the goal, but that could have been it. Yeah, let's hold them to this lead. So we're just approaching the final minute. That's where we like to take... Oh, my God. Yeah, that's where we like to take our chance. But now it should be game over. Not enough time for Tottenham. I mean, they can't get two goals anyway, so the three points are in the bag. Let's get it. 
first game down. But yeah, overall, we just had a better performance. Possession, it's hard to really have a dominant possession unless you're really focusing and you're passing the back a little bit. Uh, but yeah, CPU, generally try and keep possession. So anytime it's a little bit in your favor, yeah, you know you had a good game if you can't just tell by the shots and expect the goals. It's Brentford as well. We should be beating Brentford and hopefully we prove that in the actual following league game. So we're not going to play them twice. Yeah, we'll sim the cup, get to the final as you would expect and should do and kind of prove that in our league result that we'll beat them. And just to take a look, Luke Shaw, the only one, he's, you could probably use him. I'd probably use him in most games, but the reason to rotate for Tales, otherwise... Okay, yeah, I said we're going to go full strength. Just so we make sure we get over line. Maguire, yeah, about getting your good rated players out there. It's what counts for the sim. So quick sim should be able to have no issues here. And yeah, see, that's one you're not surprised about. A 3-0, yeah, you see that. So Rashford, Rashford and Fernandez. <laughs> De Silva, oh, your opponent gets early sending off, only helps. What's the Liverpool result or oh, Everton? I mean, I like, do we applaud? Not realism exactly that Everton will be this good. It's more the fact Everton's doing good this season. It makes sense in this save, forget real life, that oh, Everton's having a good season in the game. It makes sense they took points from Liverpool. Definitely helps out when goal difference is on Liverpool's side. But yeah, Brentford in 17th. Maybe in the past or earlier season could have simmed this game. But at the right time, we need to win. And there are five at the back team. They could be really, really defensive, hard to break down. One of those tricky games. And again, i got to stick to my guns. Rashford striker and what worked. Fernand, like it's not... Okay, let's just, yeah, bring on, and that allows Neves coming on, and I think you, you have an overall stronger team. If you say you're starting Neves ahead of Cavani, kind of, just a better overall player in the team than Donny, and, like, could say then you don't have a striker on the bench, so I'm not sure about that change. I'd probably take off Diallo for the time being, because Alvarez, you know, it's, it's, it's important time of the season. We know we're probably going to part ways with him uh, for season two. It would be fitting if City made a made a bid, but yeah. Of course, clearly you can see a couple positions where we definitely need to make signings, but let's go out there today and get the three points that we need and that we should be getting. But yeah, see Rashford, four goals in the last three. He's proving. Ah, oh, the overcommit. <laughs> and then a strange decision. Tony's got a bit of confidence. Like, yeah, I overcommit with the tackle on me and could have done more damage. Araujo. Now, Fernandez. See, it's just the position. It's the position on the pitch now where he's going to be utilizing his talent. And there he is again. He's definitely not getting on the ball less. And now Rashford. Compare... <laughs> so focused on that. But compare to the... We'll pause and talk about it. Compare the positions Neves, like when you're watching the gameplay, compare like where Fernandez is getting the ball and where Neves is. And does... Yeah, does Fernandez look more dangerous? <laughs> or do they both get in good positions? And there we go, best home records. And here we go. The man we speak of in Fernandez. <laughs> and funny, he plays in Nevers. Oh, I wanted almost for them to combine. On Yeka. Oh, that's good. He's got a bit of pace for a central mid. And you got this. Araujo. He's been good. Like this season. And now, Bruno. See, he plays a killer ball. He gets in those positions. And for a killer shot. Oh, finish it. Like, oh, man. One of our better players getting in those positions now, and that has to be a free kick. Man, I'm putting a big argument. Bruno Fernandes, the player's inside forward, a left forward. I'm telling you what he... 
just does good things. Can we try and get this far, or not far post, but you know what I'm meaning here. No, why did you move Pogba? If only the game could, like, in the end that looks silly, but Pogba, where he was standing was, I wasn't telling you to move, mate. That should have been, it should have been the perfect pass. No, by me, no, that, that wasn't bad. I put it exactly where he was sitting. Canos never is strong in the tackle. And see, that's a little bit more deeper, that roll. For, allows Fernandez to lay it off. We'll, we'll say we laid that off. <laughs> yeah. It just allows a more deadly Bruno Fernandez in attacking role. Closer to goal. And Paul Pogba ready to belt it. Didn't quite. Rice just ran. I thought he was going to use his body. Okay. It's nil-nil, though. Regardless of all that. Mm, we saw, oh, you're too slow. Lucky he was smart with the Haya. I moved him up a bit to collect. And Bruno, I haven't felt his lack of pay oh, late passes. But it creates. There's his run. Yeah, see, those runs into the box, he gets tackled. But you don't really worry about a lack of pace there. Or not being like a 90 pace player. Still find him. Oh, this interception could work. Here we go. Varane. He's making a run. You know, sometimes we like to use the decoy. Oh, the decoy. The decoy striker could be the hero. <laughs> it works. It works. It's too cool. Too cool. I mean, what can we say? He's not known as a striker, but just how easy that is to score, even from a centre-back. But I reckon his finishing is not the worst. I think comfortable, because we want to see yeah, next season using Donny a bit more. Who knows next season in real life what's going to happen. But yeah, he for Neves. And I suppose I'd feel a bit more comfortable using him. Of course, he was loaned out. But yeah, next season, maybe try and use him a bit more. Get him involved. But we really do not know future of players. He may want to be sold. May want to leave. You really don't know. Rashford. Rashford. Oh, I did it so well. Beautiful and create the space. A bit of a mix at the back or poor defending, just call it. Jaden Sancho. Yeah, before that pass. We'll see on the replay. Let's let's see back on the replay. As Jaden Sancho looks happy. When we played... Yeah, he just got away from him. The, their defender was running at Rashford. And that, that, that made Sancho free. So, it's always good. And it's back to that. Now we can maybe freshen the legs a little bit. Humphrey, who I think has a great future. Take off for Rashford. Or take off Rashford for him, you know what we mean. And yeah, there's no real point in playing Alvarez now. And Cavani, yeah, there's no... It, Dalot is probably, yeah, for one Bissaka. When you look at all potential subs. All right, this is, yeah, ready to set us in a good position to win the league. Believe it or not. Believe it or not. And I feel myself finding just a bit more momentum in this series now. Or just enjoyment. It depends where it's going. How many games you're winning or not. But, yeah, I think we're pretty steady now. And we'll be exciting for the following season. Easy. Easy. Now, this is where their five at the back could start to be looking a bit messy. Right there, it looks like... There's two at the back. And he did a good job. Block, no. Yeah, they're getting more. They're getting more forward now. They kind of need to. Onyeka. Got him. 
Here we go. Fin oh, Bruno. Here we go. Nice touch to set up Van der Beek. Van der Beek. Got a bit excited there with my power. I tried to hit it absolute perfectly with a bit of power right into the corner. Yeah. <laughs> Can we get one? Another one, that is. Humphrey. Sancho. Oh, yeah. You see what I'm trying to do there. The CPU saw what I was trying to do. That's for sure. They knew. Bruno. Peach. I mean, I'm not going to say that's just because he was playing left forward. He'd get similar positions as a centre mid. But that's where he was in that point. <laughs> where was Neves? Beautiful goal. Like, come on. That was timed pretty well. Huh? Mm, really neat goal. So there's... A re I know. Next season. I'm not going to go into next season trying to make Bruno Fernandes a left forward. We're not going to train him to do that. He'll be one of the centre mids. But I'm saying... Yeah, he's... <laughs> he's putting the real argument up there. I tell you what. But yeah, a real breeze. A real breeze here. Oh, God. We'll, me we'll talk about the oh, God in a minute. And it's not almost scoring another goal. It is the fact of maybe wanting to be suggested that we play ultimate difficulty next season. And I've had it even in the comments. I've seen a couple of people say it. Say, ultimate, you're gonna, it's going to be so tough and, you know, they do everything good, everything right. We've felt that in some games on Legendary. Like in the Champions League. Did you witness like what just happened in previous episodes against Man City? Yeah, it's like, it's pure just killing from the CPU. So, when we can be in relaxing mode and get this get these results, this is a, a fitting pocket for me to be in. So that was really good. If anything, oh, has our rating gone backwards? We've done nothing but only win games in this episode. Like, some logics I just don't agree with, but what can we say? And see, objectively, I just want to maybe even increase the transfer budget. If we wanted, we could have signed more stars. Look, I think we can safely say maybe 170 mil. That could have been spent. But the fact doing a like a realistic career mode makes it a bit more on the trickier side. As I said, we probably could sign two like world-class players. But hey, having world-class youth, world-class English young talents coming through the youth academy... Uh, that gives you realism vibes. That gives you some realistic vibes and exciting vibes too. The lowest maximum potential is uh, Theodore Sanderson. And yeah, he's probably the one that's up in the air. He could have low 80s or maybe to mid. Uh, it really depends. But some other guys here could really be stars. It's it's up to you as well, or what you guys think. Like, how many youth players do you want in the first team? I think at least we have to sign up the promising talents when their minimum potential's small. He probably looks like he's going to be better than Cross. So those are the decisions we have to make. Like, Cross, he's got 66 overall, and he's 16. Like, he, arguably, he's going to be very, very good. But that's when we could start to have so many, you know, uh, players in the squad. Yeah, we're going to see how we operate with the youth squad. Don't get too many comments about the youth squad, so I wonder how much you want to see the youth players. Uh, but anyway, it's going to be really interesting how the rest of the season is going to play out. Oh, Liverpool, 79 points. So, we're, we're still in a good position. We've still got the game in hand, so we win that game in hand, and then we're a couple points clear. The Hayes had a good season, which really helps out. But yeah, we're going to leave it there for now. We're getting... Oh, we'll plan. We'll plan. I'll, I'll give you guys the idea what we're going to do next. Three games in the next episode to set up a FA Cup final as well against Aston Villa. Definitely play that and hopefully lift the cup. And then, yeah, uh, we'll have a following episode where we play out the season. One game against Chelsea. That could be a decider from our point of view. Chelsea, no, they can't contend for the title. Uh, realistically, uh, but even though mathematically there's the slightest of hopes, but no. <laughs> uh, anyway, they're not even they're not even in the conversation. They're in the conversation of if we lose against them. Uh, yeah, it's really going to make it tricky then. But we're going to leave it there for now. Leave a comment, thumbs up for more, and I'll see you guys next time.